On the newly elected leadership of the Trade Union Congress, do you see inquiry status pledged to work tirelessly to achieve a fair minimum wage for workers and meet uh, the country's economic hardships? Uh, Lion Kao and Nikki Jipa, uh, Chairman of the TUC and uh, Vice President Kanu Balogun, assured workers during the sixth uh, Trinil State de Delegate Conference in Ilora Inquiry State. Now, from an uh, from the uh, Road Transport Employees Association of Nigeria pledged to uh, prioritize workers' interest during the crucial negotiation period between the government and workers. I stand before you, dear comrades, with a vow that I will not disappoint this huge trust. With your invaluable support and cooperation and our zeal and valor and commitment, we are taking this Congress to greater heights. From this moment forward, it is going to be work and work and work. I will not be tired to serve in all capacities. We are coming in at a very challenging period for workers in Nigeria. And when we narrow down the scope to Kwara State, we know that we have a lot of challenges facing Kwara workers. So we don't have any time to waste. Uh, the issue of minimum wage is the force on our table. We are going to make sure that uh, my, we, we collaboration with my other executive anyway, since I can't do it alone. Uh, by the grace of God, our first point of contact will be the issue of minimum wage in Kwara State. And I assure Kwara workers, I'm reassuring Kwara workers, because I'm very, I've been very close to the governor of Kwara State by virtue of interaction, I know that we are going to be able to deliver a very meaningful negotiation to the entire people of Kwara State. But, um, it was a tense one. But we thank God we were able to like arrive at um, the sub to land and um, all affiliates resolved and we agreed to terms. Uh, my basic advice to the new executives uh, that will be chaired by Komnidola Inka of Rural Transport is that it must be very steadfast. It must be articulate. It must not allow Ranko. Whatever Ranko, it must have the grip to like hold on all the parties and resolve issues. Like I had advised him earlier too, I told him to ensure that he tolerates every manner of individual. Union leaders, however, committed to engaging the state government to ensure one acceptable minimum wage for acquired state workers as soon as possible. Now, moving on, the Delta State Governor, Right Honorable Sharif Abaroway, has reactivated Savicom to improve service delivery across ministries, department agencies, and local government. The Executive Assistant to the Governor on Public uh, Enlightenment, Lisa Efejika, uh, stated that the, governor, that the Governor is concerned about uh, deteriorating our uh, service delivery across MDAs and local government and orders public servants to adapt to the new normal. Now, Savicom, which has been in operation for years, has failed to make necessary changes to ensure quality service delivery. Public servants, all of them, must imbibe the culture we are reenacting in this state, reenacting that culture of Savicom with all seriousness. It's a policy of government that Savicom must be driven in the entire public service of Delta State. The assignment is domiciled in the office of the Chief Policy Advisor to the Governor and as a director charged with all of that. They've started the assignment. They have penciled 132 MDAs, including the 25 local government areas, to go and preach this gospel to show how serious it is. Between the, between the last week of March and last week, they've been able to go to 55 MDAs to preach the gospel. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.